good day friends it is me hl mod tech and i am back with another awesome tinkercad tutorial so let's get cracking friends today we're gonna modify a design i made the other day if you have not built this sweet fidget gyro it is unbelievably cool spins in every direction and prints like a dream now the full tutorial shows you how all of this is built and then when you're done I'm gonna speed this up, you can hit play, and bingo, you get a sweet little gyro fidget that is perfect to print in a classroom. Now this one right here on my Sobol SV06 took less than 20 minutes to print. Friends, if you have a classroom and you wanna customize these for each kid, let me show you how you could do it. At the end of the project, simply bring out a cylinder. When you drop the cylinder in, of course expand its properties and we can put in our radius using a sweet math formula of course it is the inner radius that we made earlier and we need to change a subtraction and we're going to subtract that gap lift that up drop it inside there of course we need to drop in our height i'm going to use the sides variable again to make it smooth I'm also going to make it the color yellow. I think that's going to match what it was, if I can remember right. And if we hit play, bingo, it is filled in. Notice it is lower than the actual project, though. Of course, we can fix that by making another one of these moves. Let's duplicate it, throw out the extra cylinder, drop that in place, and hit play. And all of a sudden, you will have the middle filled in. Well, we did that so we can add some text. We are gonna do that in the shapes area. Bring out your text. You probably only have room for initials. I'm gonna tell you to make it a whole. And then type in your initials. I'm gonna put HLM for HL Mod Tech. You can pick from any of the four fonts. I'm gonna tell you to set the height at two. Leave all the other ones alone. When you hit play, it's going to show up underneath and quite large. We're going to fix that with a move. So once again, duplicate, throw out the extra part. If we just hit play, you'll see that it raises up, but it's not quite sticking all the way out. Now it's just even. If we swap this out to just the height, then it lands where we can cut it out so all we need to do now is scale it once again that is in modify bring out your scale i'm going to tell you to try 0.25 and hit play bingo that is sitting right where we want and now we can group it to cut it in All of a sudden, you have got a fidget that is customized for each student. How cool is that? Of course, friends, the final step is to click up on export, choose STL. I always store mine in my 3D modeling folder, and this is going to be called Fidget Gyro. And I'm going to put my initials HLM after it. Perfectly ready for 3D printing, should print in about 20 minutes. Just for fun, I made a little modification here. Notice I did an edge of two of steps of 10. And then I also changed the last ring to have an edge of two and steps of 10. That way it's a little more rounded, which I think looks pretty darn cool. I'm gonna export that one as version two and give it a print as well. Bingo. Now I am printing with Kira and I'm using the Solval SV06. Of course, we start with file open. Let's grab that V2 and put it right there. There is the version 2 one. Let's see if we can zoom in and see those letters. Yep, there they are. I'll quickly plug in my SD card. For my settings, I'm doing low quality, 0.8 on the walls, 1.12 for the top bottom thickness. 15% for the infill using lines. Printing this filament is PLA 200 with a build plate of 60 and a print speed of 60. I do have retraction enabled that's set at 30 and then I'm doing no build plate adhesion. 
as you can see it's going to take about 21 minutes let's save it to the drive and give it a print not very exciting to watch it print it has the entire print head covers the design but i'll show it to you in a few minutes when it's finished and there it is just finished as you can see pops off extremely easily spins easily in that direction and spins easily in that direction friends after just a minute friends after just a moment they spin so darn well friends as you can see they spin really really well after just a moment you can get them really zipping right now i'm having trouble looking through the camera lens and getting my fat fingers to hit it like it's supposed to but oh my gosh friends having a blast and these are turning out so darn cool Friends, I do want to quickly remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad, tons of amazing categories, and then also day one lessons, useful starters, and Tinkercad essentials. Friends, there is also the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we've got more than 700 members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.